The 1960s were a volatile time in Latin America. The U.S. often did what it could to make the situation supposedly more stable, but often with tragic results. Case in point, Brazil. In 1961, a possibly half-insane, according to many observers, Janio Quadros was elected president. He threatened to resign if not granted more powers. The Brazilian Congress ex uh, called his bluff and accepted his resignation. That made João Django Goulart the new president. However, Goulart was seen as too leftist by most people. Many in the military believed that Goulart shouldn't be allowed to stay as president. Instead, a strange compromise ensued. Gallart would uh, be allowed to stay as president, but his powers would be greatly limited. Many in Brazil and in the U.S. believed that Gallart would ally himself more closely with the USSR and Cuba. In the zero-sum world that was the Cold War, this was unthinkable. President Kennedy had grown uh, greatly concerned by developments in Brazil, and the CIA began to covertly support pro-democracy uh, uh, street rallies and encourage anti-communist sentiments. By March 1964, with the threat of a looming civil war, U.S. Ambassador Lincoln Gordon proposed Operation Brother Sam. President Lyndon Johnson authorized logistical materials to be put in place, including petroleum, oil, lubricants, uh, and other things brought in from Aruba. In addition, a U.S. Navy fleet, led by an aircraft carrier, was to support the Brazilian military in the coup. However, it turns out that none of this was necessary, as the military was able to overthrow Gallard in just 48 hours. And in just a few days, the new government was declared anti-communist and anti-Cuban. While this was undoubtedly a huge win for the U.S. policy in Latin America, it didn't turn out quite so well for Brazil. The new military junta did not step down and allow democratic elections, as many, including Ambassador Gordon, had believed. Moreover, the junta began using torture throughout the country. When U.S. Vice Counsel in Porto Alegre in the early 1970s was stunned at how openly the police department showed him around the room that they used to interrogate and torture suspects. It is estimated that some 20,000 people were tortured during the dictatorship. It would last 21 years until elections were held in 1985. ADST, follow us for more.